Hello, it's Angela Zajac Brook here from Angela Brook Art. And on the video yesterday, uh, we have shown you how to do a tonal page. Page using one color, mixing white and mixing black. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish this page. And I actually use, this is where I use the Robert Burridge color wheel. So if you look on the wheel, the dominant color is the yellow. So that means my focal point is going to be red blue. And then I'm going to have two spice colors, blue green and the purple red. And he also gives you a sample of what that would look like together. You kind of put the spice colors near the center of interest. And this really works if you're wearing an outfit. So if I was wearing a yellow shirt and I wanted to buy a scarf, I could have those colors in it and that would really complement it. Uh, this happens a lot in nature, in flowers. God kind of made it that way. Some of the most, the flowers that you're drawn to probably already has these spice colors in there. You don't even think about it till you start looking at colors. So we can do it one of two ways. We could pick washi tape. You can pick a cutout on a page, but because this color, because this page has a lot of paint on it, I am going to finish it using paint. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can see. And the, I'll just set it up right next to it on this little piece of paper and then I'll use over any uh, leftover paint I have. So my spice color is gonna be, I'm going to use ultramarine blue because I think that's a blue, blue purple. And our, I mean the focal point is gonna be the ultramarine blue. And the spice I'm gonna use the Holbein aluminum violet. And for the blue green is going to be the Matisse. So because I see a pattern, I already see a natural pattern here, this streak, it's sort of, um, it kind of speaks that I should just put a, put some blue right there. Oops, I dripped it on there. It's gonna stay. I can change my direction, but because I form, I'm forming a, th a thick line there, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave that. So that's my now my focal point with the dark blue. Now to do my spice colors, because I want my spice color around that, I'm gonna stay using the card and I will put some there. Right next to it. Then I can use the other side of the card. And so this I may want to add it on the same line. I love the, the purple on there, the purple violet on there. You can put some drops, you can do it however you want. I'm kind of just following sort of this pattern. I like this here. Can kind of add a little bit, a little bit I have on my card. And there's no right or wrong. This is just how what you think looks right. And it may seem simple, but um, I actually, I like the pattern of it. I could also add some white if I wanted to. And to do that, I wouldn't use the white paint. I would probably use a, um, a white Sharpie, maybe, and add some on there. And I have my Sharpies right here in my bag. I'll try this. I use the, I'm using the Sharpie the water-based. And so where I see that I could add some, is just kind of break that up a little bit. This is along the lines of, more along the lines of abstract. I don't, you don't, I don't feel like I need to add anything else. I don't feel like I need to add any stickers. Not all my journal pages have messages or have cutouts. Sometimes I feel like they serve as, um, they're strong enough to work by themselves. And as you can tell, I didn't overthink that a lot. I just sort of picked those colors out and I like it. 
it's not a, is it a masterpiece not necessarily but it's it's a nice page and it'll look nice in my journal so this is how you can finish a page that you started with that using all of that we use the yellow the white and the black mixed with it so I hope you enjoyed that thanks for stopping by and I will continue to make these videos happy creating